Ciao. Welcome to Amici Vino Chivo. I'm Carmen. I'm Jeremy. Tonight, thank you again for showing up for another episode. Uh, we're getting a lot of likes, a lot of subscribers. Keep it up. Uh, tonight, we're going to do a chicken bolognese. Now, typically, chicken bolognese, it's a, it's like a chick, breaded chicken cutlet. Typically served with an arugula salad. You can do anything that you want. Uh, but this wing nut over here decides, oh, I want broccoli robin sausage. So Ooh. we're going to do broccoli robin sausage on the side, which is completely fine because I love sausage. I love any kind of cased meat. So uh, we're going to do that on the side. So I'm going to show you how to get started with the chicken. Jerry, you want to talk a little bit about your dish before we get going? Yeah, so we'll get into it a little bit more uh, in detail, but I'm going to be doing the broccoli robin sausage. It's a style that my grandmother, my nonna, uh, taught me. But before we even start that, do you have the bottle of wine? What did you do with the bottle? Oh yeah, it's right here on the shelf. <laughs> so we cracked open a bottle of wine already, as you can yes. see. There you go, and, my friend. And uh, this is Carpenten... Oh. Capernetto. It's a Chianti Classico Reserva 2015. <laughs> That's right. So, salute. Salute, my friend. So, what we got for the first steps here on the uh, All right, real chicken. simple. Um, I mean, you could buy already, you know, chicken cutlets already done up. I had, I'm going to do these because I wanted to show how you could, you get a boneless, skinless check, chicken breast and you just want to I want to get it to about half of what it was. So just kind of slice it. You need a sharp knife. You want to kind of open it like a book. All right. Just put that like that. Fold that over. And you're not going to kill it. You know, you're going to, you just want to kind of get it or even, because this ends a little thinner than this. You want to get it as even as possible without killing it. You're not going to come in here and kill it. Just slightly pound it out. This does two things. It makes it so it cooks evenly. And it kind of tenderizes it a little bit. Um, you're not beating the heck out of it. That's it. Nothing crazy. How thin do you go on it? Go about a quarter of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch. I'm just going to show you. That's about what you want. That's all. So I've got all purpose flour here. Just added salt and pepper. It's, it's important to season, like we've said many times, season in layers. So, I'm just going to take, and I try to do the wet, dry hand, and if I concentrate, I could do it. Yeah. It's not, it's That's not right, always yeah. easy. So, I do, this is going to be my wet hand, get the stuff on here, right. and just shake that off. Can you say wet? Yep. The other right. hand, or which hand? So, this is going to be my dry. Okay, I got you. This is going to be my wet. Go with this, right. and then drop it in Italian seasoned breadcrumbs that has either pecorino romano or Parmesan cheese, and it gives it a real nice flavor. You want to just kind of really work really it in there. Yeah, in there. yeah. You want to get that in there. Looks good, man. Yeah, it's good. It's a nice. Bravo. Yeah, grazie. And that's how that works. Just nice. gonna keep, just gonna keep doing these. So, please, again, we say this every week, but like, subscribe to our channel, comment below. If there's something that you want us to cook, we'd love to cook it for you. At least put our, our own spin on it, which is kind of what we're doing tonight. Yep. Um, but we appreciate all the support, and uh, we we hope that you continue to support. Also, in the link in the description below is all of our recipes. Uh, we have a link to our website that has our, uh, our, our recipes on it. As well as any of the, we call it the Italian essentials, yeah. kitchen essentials. Yeah. So there's links down below to Amazon specifically has a lot of the stuff that we've uh, amassed over the years or yeah. <laughs> gathered over the years uh, to cook in the kitchen with. So we're on to the broccoli robin sausage. We got the broccoli rob here. It's uh, it's it's a bitter leaf essentially. It's uh, but it's good. It's really good. First thing I'm gonna do, I rinsed it. I don't have to show you how to do that. I hope you know how to rinse in the sink. And I'm just going to chop off the ends a little bit more. Even though they, it looks like they already pre-chopped these. Sometimes they come a little bit longer than this. If you're picking them from the garden like, like my nona does, you're, you're, you're probably barely having any waste. But <laughs> right. And then what you want to do is you're going to um, break up each, um, each one of these just to make them a little bit more uniform. 
and you'll see why once we get to the water over there, um, a lot of the stems and stuff like that are a little bit thicker than the leaves, and those are going to cook first, and you'll see that in the stove. So that's the first thing you're going to do there. Once you're done with all of that, you're going to chop up some parsley. This is the Italian parsley again. Uh, I already did that, I'm getting ready for this. And then you're also going to get, um, you'll see over on the stove, we're going to chop some garlic and get that and, uh, and some, some oil going there. So you'll see that in, over on the stove as well in just a minute. I put the stems in first, uh, stems down into the water because the stems are thicker than the leaves. So get that boil in. It takes about five minutes for the broccoli rabe to cook and um, at least boil. Uh, there's different ways you could do that. That's the way I, I learned. But once that's all done, oh, and then salting the water. You have to salt that water pretty good. You want um, you want to break up that broccoli rabe, the bitterness of broccoli rabe with some some of the, the, the saltiness of that of the, the water as well. So. Once that's all done, you're going to uh, put it into a colander, and I didn't show it in the video, but you're going to rinse it with cold water. And that's just because I don't have a camera over by the sink, but we're gonna, you rinse that with cold water uh, until you really just stop cooking it. Now that could sit. You could do that a day beforehand so that sure. you're making it, but that just sits just like that. All right, so we finished up the broccoli rabe. It's got a good consistency now, but what I want to do now is just slice it a little bit before I put it in the pan. Um, and as you saw over there, just don't, don't go crazy. Uh, yeah, you don't have to cut it super thick, super thin, or anything like that. But I'm going to cut it in, in, in decent chunks and get it ready to go saute in the pan a little bit. We're over on the uh, stove there. Yep. Why we do the chicken, Steve? Okay. Yeah, so basically I just put uh, just enough, probably about a quarter to a half inch of uh, canola oil, vegetable oil. I put a little bit of olive oil uh, mix them just to give it that flavor. You don't, you can't fry in olive oil. The the smoke temperature is too low on that, but it does give it a nice flavor. Mm. Get it up to temperature. I test it with a wooden spoon. I put the handle in the wooden spoon, and when I see the bubbles coming up, I know it's ready. Some people like to put a little water in there. Either way works. Uh, drop them in there. Make sure you drop them in uh, front to back, so any splashing goes away from you. Get a nice golden brown color. Probably three four minutes aside. Get those all fried up, and you're good to go. Yeah. They're done. Yeah. As that's going, and you're doing that, you're also going to be doing the sausage. And the way I do the sausage, the way I learned to do the sausage, I get longini sausage. I put those in there, and what you want to do is sear the outside. You're going to cook them for the most part, but you're going to really sear the outside and get it to like a nice uh, texture and consistency, like a nice golden brown on the outside. Then, when that's all done, you can take that out, leave the oil that you did. And, and that's all you're doing is just oil. You're not doing any garlic or anything like that. Leave the oil, take the longini sausage out, keep that going. Now you take your broccoli rabe and you're going to chop that, as we saw, and put it into the saute pan with the olive oil and the fats from the sausage. As that's cooking on the stove, the next part is to get the garlic chopped up. We want to use a little garlic in, in the, about midway through you want to put the garlic in. And the way my nonna does it is she slices it. Pretty thin, but not crazy thin. Uh, she leaves a little bit of chunks in there too while you're eating it. Some people like that, some people don't. Uh, I don't know if you've if you've had it like that before, but well, what's nice about that? If, if, if it's a little bit bigger chunk, if people don't want to eat the garlic, yeah, you don't take you it just out. Yeah, you just put it, just but it flavors the oil. So yeah. Yep. So yeah, so we're gonna uh, chop up the garlic a little bit and then uh, be ready to go to, to toss this in and uh, get that going. But also, our sausages are done now. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slice these up pretty thin as well. They're just about cooked. Uh, you can probably eat them like this. But I'm going to slice them up to about a quarter inch as well. And these are going to go in uh, about halfway as that's cooking as well, sautéing. Uh, the broccoli rabe is that the broccoli rabe sautéing. The sausage is going to go in and continue to cook a little bit more and sauté as well with that. So that's where we're at. Toss the longini sausage I sliced inside the broccoli rabe. And that's going to go for a little while and just going to saute it and, and add some salt in there, some pepper, um, and uh, olive oil to taste. The olive oil is more of, uh, you know, it's going to be soak, being soaked up by the leaves a little bit and, and cooking off, going to be soaked up. So, yeah, cook that and saute it a little bit more and uh, be ready to go. I'm starving. All right, we're plated, ready to eat.
Than the manja. Manja. <laughs> Salute. Salute, my o- friend. Only one bottle of wine tonight. <laughs> so far. So far. That was good, Carm. That's real good. It smells amazing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment, please. Thanks for joining us on Amici Vino Chivo.